Hi, my name is Sarah O'Connor and welcome to Curating Curiosities, my exhibit where you'll be seeing four of my styles today. One, which is floralism, two, which is heavy textured pointillism, three, which is acrylic quilts, and four, which is my new style, itty bitty buds. So today we'll be walking you through them all. So first I wanted to introduce you to my itty bitty buds pieces. And as you can see when we get a close up version, it is tiny little flower buds. And in fact, I don't like wasting any paint at all because I find paint and the color so infectiously gorgeous that when I clipped my flowers, the little tushies fell off and I thought those could be beautiful little rose buds. So I've just begun creating pieces where these feature in undulating waves and over elsewhere in the exhibit, as you'll see if you come before March 19th, a more clean palette of white, pink, gold, and mint. And I'm so proud to present to you my floralism work. And what's special about my floralism work, like all of my work, is I don't use a single mold to create my work. What I do is I thicken acrylic paint, put it in a squeeze bottle, and squeeze out each petal one by one. And then once it's cured, AKA dried, I then hand quill, AKA hand roll, each petal one by one to create each flower one by one, to then adhere them one by one in a lovely, beautiful garden mosaic. Next, I wanted to introduce you to heavy textured pointillism, where I put paint that I've thickened up into a squeeze bottle and dollop each dot one by one directly onto the canvas. No molds, no nothing. Right onto the canvas with a steady, steady hand. And how heavy textured pointillism began actually began when I was a really young girl playing with perler beads, those little plastic beads that you put on the white thing and iron. I used to love mixing them up and sorting them, mixing them up and sorting them. And one day when I was on medical leave, fast forward to when I was an attorney, I thought reminiscently about those perler beads, but I thought instead of purchasing those beads, I'm going to use my husband's paint. And I started doing tiny little dots like classical pointillism, but that wasn't good enough for me and I was hungry for more. I wanted to create texture that people wanted to eat, so I thickened up that paint and heavy textured pointillism was born. As you can see from the diptych, i.e. two-piece set painting behind me, a lot of my work is emblematic, representative of the ocean. I find the ocean and her healing nature to be really soothing and absolutely gorgeous to capture. So please come enjoy my exhibit where you see several pieces featuring the ocean or the water. Next, I wanted to introduce you to my installation exhibit portion of the exhibit, and this I'm really pleased and excited about. So as you can see, there are dots on the floor, but more than that, they're actually deconstructed paintings that I saw, I looked at, and I said, ugh, halfway done, I'm not pleased enough with you, but I don't want to throw you out because what you have is gorgeous. So I had been cutting and saving each of the dots for a moment just like this. So this is something that I've never done before and can't wait for you to experience live here in front of many of my paintings. Welcome to my acrylic quilts, which I used to refer to as strips. And as you can see from the close up, there are different strips of color amongst the chaos. And that is actually from my artist armchair where I uh, tap the paint onto my artist armchair or collect the scraps. And once I've connect collected enough and I've created enough strips, I then create a gorgeous big or small acrylic quilt out of them. And in some ways I consider my strips or my acrylic quilt pieces to be a bit emblematic of my bipolar disorder in that they're grandiose, big, bold, loud, and a little bit dangerously chaotic. But I love it because it's important to speak about mental health, just like other great famous artists before my time. This piece here, A Song of Winter Roses, is one that is probably the most dear to my heart. It is designed after The Little Mermaid, where she's in her cavern and she swims up and she tries to break free to be by the light, but she just can't because she's stuck by the mountain. Here, I remove all of those constraints. You are free, floating wondrously in the ocean. 
And there's some depth, there's some sadness, there's some joy, and there's undulating light. That's what I mean when I say the ocean really moves me in my work. And then finally, I wanted to introduce you to my Bitty Bites, which are miniature paintings, three by three inches, that come with a little easel. Each one is hand quilled, hand lovingly made. And each one, you can take off and bring home, because sometimes you just need a little taste. Thank you so much for joining me at Curating Curiosities, presented by the Cultural Arts Center at Glen Allen. Please come by before March 19th, and thank you so much for joining me here today.